Hello, this is a video about my fashion portfolio overview, so let's get started. This project is about a clown. I started by analyzing different types of clowns. And throughout history and in different cultures, I found that clown is also seen as masks. While happy personalities on the outside and inside, they are torn with angels. So I try to paint a combination of positive and negative emotion. Clowns are often used in hospital settings to help the healing of children and help them to cooperate with procedures. So I think Dr. Clown can bring joy to children and their parents, a moment where they can be distracted from their illnesses and pain. According to the painting, I do a reference about Bauhaus and collage of Bauhaus achievements. Also offer some artist reference about Sonia de Lune. After I watched Oscar Schlimmer's tragic ballet, I do some research about Oscar Schlimmer. He often used cube, circle, geometry in costume design, which is super interesting. The tragic ballet is a kind of performance art. So I took several scenes of the different costumes and extracted their silhouettes. And when I was thinking about performance arts, I thought of Nick Caves and wearing his sound suits dancing to African music. So I do a research page of Nick Caves' different sound suits. And I find out that he often use abandoned materials like blankets, twigs, objects of interest to children in his works, some beans, fishing nets made of string of beans, then the color board. According to phology of color in house design, I found that three different colors can bring healing effects to different illnesses children. First is about cancer children. They get fear, anxious, depression during their therapies. So I think that maybe blue can help them to get peace. Yellow is suitable for blind children. Warm color can give them happiness during their therapies. Toy with sounds, electroluminescence can help them find the right direction. So I'm thinking about children during therapies always need a pair of hands to hold hold them and give them a warm hug. So I considered about adding a pair of hands on my therapy suit. Then it's about the deaf mute children. Um, due to they cannot hear or talk, I thought about adding toy with recorded voice on the therapy suit that they could just press the button and express their thought. I didn't want to use brand new materials to make therapy suits, so I set up a collection box at a kindergarten in my community for children to put their unwanted toys. According to the material needed by the children with cancer, I found the cooperating toy in the collection box and painted prints by Officeum by Officeum style with corresponding colors. And I also have a digital print, a fabric sample, and material for blind children, copy some prints in warm color and fabric sample. Also, materials for deaf mute children, I add some plastic beans on the side, copy some prints in red and fabric sample. Due to black, white, blue, yellow, copy some prints for Blind children, I knit fabric samples with glowing the light wool and then printed the fabric in one drawing. In another office and print, I transformed the print fabric into woven fabric. This is a secondary development of the print and the shape seems to form a sleeve or a hat, so I did some sketching to portfolio this shape, I digital print them out and put them on my body. My print paintings are also very similar to Wesley Kandinsky. So I conducted an artist reference and found that Kandinsky also respond to music in his painting career. According to the help of music brought to patients during the therapy, I started transform the print into acrylic hanging device, sketching it how to show on um, clothes and booths to make sounds. I also tried to develop luminous 
fabric and it's baby clothes. Also, a glove made of wool felt. When I was thinking about hug gloves, I saw that when gloves are converted into scarf design, even children can get a warm hug when they're when they're alone. So I started to design different hats for children. Continue develop print into 3D. Your curve against multi-factored works, hand on movements, and dynamically change, which can relate it to performance arts. I transform the print into stereo paper models and image that when shapes were developed into therapy clothing children could be drawn to dynamically change of prints on the therapy suit then I also started to put the circular shape on my body to do silhouette experiments with above experiments and portfolio development I began to consider the design of children's clothing a design suitable for all types of children. I use collage. I also use collage to find clothing styles for children with different disease and carry out some sketching. And I also need to consider about Dr. Clown's wearing the therapy suit while well, I found hula hoops and swimming hoops in the collection box. So again, I do some satellite experiments, mix Mix costumes in triadic blades. Same way to develop clothing styles using collage. And I also do this fabric using glowing the dark beans, regular beans, and bells are woven into into a fishing net. This can make sounds and add it on my therapy suits for blind children to find their way in the darkness. Also collage of therapy suits for deaf new children. And when I was thinking about these fabrics again, um, the beans are designed, while the beans are designed for children's wear, they could accidentally swallow them or stitch, it, stitch them in their nose and ears, which is very dangerous. So I started to put beans in a plastic tube and do some sketching drawings. And I also think about things on the therapy suit which can have interaction with children like fuzzy felt, some hairs when these interactive elements appear on the clothes they may can distract it and entertain children while they are in therapy so I made this fuzzy felt fabric which children can DIY their favorite fuzzy felt toys on it and the stars and box they can put little things in it and they could just like make them off and put their favorite fuzzy felt toys on it and also some process of me making the luminous wool fabric consider about shoes are also very important for the final whole looks I find out that um, crocs are very popular in hospital hospital for nurse and doctor to wear because they are very convenient to take off and also very comfortable so I kinned this blue fabric and add acrylic shape on the shoes that could make sounds to children they are very fun and say about the, the acrylic shape I add different acrylic shape on this kinet fabric and thinking about shoes development for children. I developed two kind of shoes. One is the plush shoes which are which have acrylic shape on it and can make sound. The another is fuzzy felt shoes so that children can DIY their favorite fuzzy toys on the shoes for fun. Finally it comes to the design for children. First is about the cancel children. I sketch the front and back to show more clear about the details and add different fabric on on the clothes. Um, the design for deaf mute children also sketching. They are wearing the hat when I design earlier 
And I also think about these circular shape can be very fun when children wearing 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 the clothes. So I add them on the design. And for blind children, they can have a hug scarf on their neck to give them a warm hug and some sketching. Then is the therapy suit for the cancel children. I use blue through the whole through the whole therapy suit and shapes I develop from earlier therapy suit for blind children using yellow and have big big hand to big hand on the big hand instead of sleeves and therapy suit for deaf new children which I add fuzzy felt toys on the front of the top that children can have intera interaction with the suit then the whole final six look so that's my whole project here thank you for watching